What's going to guys? So a lot of the parts we install on the channel tend to get expensive. It seems like everything these days is a hundred plus dollars. And I know that can really detract from wanting to just tinker and modify your truck without breaking the bank. So in today's video, we've got a nice change of pace. We've got a slew of items that we're going to be installing on the truck. That's going to make a big difference without once again, breaking the bank. So I guess let's start on the outside, work our way in. Let me show you all how I've been having to get into this thing. Take the bezel off. This side's broken. And that's how you drop her. So there's two bolts exposed, but there's actually three bolts holding that on. So we got to use our T20 to take this plastic cover off first. These are half inch. Go ahead and take this guy off. Pick this up. Pull that lever out. Try to slide this out without scratching our truck up like that. Just go ahead and slide this guy in here. Put that in there. Lock this arm. in from the back so oh gosh tell guys <laughs> unlock that was almost bad just push over lock in the bottom just like that we got a working handle boys and yes like i said it is uh prep for paint so this is just a black plastic it's gloss black it's smooth so you can sand this just a little bit or buff it or whatever and then paint it which we're definitely going to paint the handles on the truck eventually nice and clean so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the backside stuff on there we'll move on to the next thing all right so we got to get rid of this fishing pole antenna and honestly, I did not do a very budget friendly one on this because I actually bought this for the F1 a while back when Legends had the purple, uh, I think it was a Chevy. I fell in love with it. And so I fell into the marketing scheme of getting this bullet antenna, which was like 50 bucks. You can definitely get them a lot cheaper on Amazon. I'll have a link to one that I've used in the past that was good. Uh, but it comes with this whole packet of stuff. For whatever reason, they're gold, which makes no sense because it sticks up because your bullet antenna can't fit in the little cow right here unless you like drilled it out. So I went ahead and painted the gold part black and that looks a lot better. So goodbye fishing pole and no ugly gold. That is so much better than the fishing pole. I know the bullet antenna is not for everybody, but that looks really clean to me. Nice and I wouldn't say hidden, but a lot more discreet. Next up is one that I think I've replaced at least three different times on three different trucks because in the GMT 800 world, this switch always goes bad and that's your fog light switch. And if you're a truck guy, you gotta have your fog light switch. So we gotta go ahead and remove our bezel. that side free she should come out now there we go all right now you see right here it's got a tab to pop up and we should be able to wiggle this free just like that and you can get these guys on amazon all day long for cheap i've had the one in chomper forever over a year never had issues with it at all looks beautiful Boom. Let's go look at these ugly halogens. Oh yeah, there they are, boy. We gotta get some LEDs in there because these front ends look insane with the LED fog lights running. Gosh, dog, that's a huge difference. That's amazing. All right, next up for the interior is gonna be putting a new brake cushion 
on our brake pedal because as you can see ours is worn slap off got this one from Dorman uh, oh my gosh what's happening I'll have a link to it in the description as well should just slip right on and make this feel a million times better because right now it feels terrible slippery when it's wet obviously and just doesn't make braking feel too confident That is going to feel absolutely amazing. Let's try her out. Oh, yes. Nice and tacky feeling. That is beautiful. Major upgrade right there, boys. Well, while we're down here, nothing gets more budget-friendly than a zip tie. So we're going to go ahead and take this time to try to somewhat fix this brake controller because this is straight rigged and it rattles and it can fall out clearly, as you see. I look for some screws, but I don't have any screws that fit in it properly, so we're just going to have to, like I said, zip tie it for now. I think we... Boom. Just like that. That's about as secure as it gets. Cut this little extra piece off. And that is a lot more secure. Way better. And our last mod for today's video is actually our cheapest. So we're going to be doing a resonator delete. Ran down to the parts store, got this two inch plum quick rubber cap. It comes with a hose clamp and everything. $5.99 plus tax. Get rid of that big resonator. Supposedly give us some more whistle. Some people say throttle response is improved. I doubt that, but should look better and hopefully give us a little more whistle. That'll be nice. So you need a T30. get it with a flathead because mine won't fit in there and now we should just lift this whole assembly off of there there she is looks in my clamp up Nice and snug. We don't want any dirt bypassing. And there's how she looks without that big resonator. And this is going to set us up perfectly. We're going to have a lot more room without having to take that off. Get back there and put our down pipe in very soon. So I guess let's crank this thing up and see if we notice anything. Believe it or not, I think there might actually be a little bit of improvement on the turbo noise. Turbo, turbo noise, turbo noise. Definitely don't think there's any throttle response difference. But y'all let me know. I, maybe it won't come across on camera right, but I feel like the turbo is a little bit louder now. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be a wrap for this video, but I have to say I am very pleased with the results. Definitely love the resonator delete. I do think that actually did improve the turbo noise. I love my brake pedal, feels absolutely amazing. Stoked that that thing's not rattling all over the place again. Can't forget the fog light switch because, oh, man, when we get them LEDs in there, it's gonna be insane. What else do we do? Oh, the door handle, tailgate handle. Yes looks so good can't wait to paint them babies red oh my gosh and i got my other sticker on finally warren made it for me always thankful for her making me those they look so freaking good i love them so yeah dude i'm stoked but like i said this is a very most of it budget friendly uh video i think the only thing that wasn't that budget friendly was really the 
pull the antenna just because it's you know was part of a giveaway and it was more expensive and i really didn't buy it for this truck i bought it for the blue truck but i thought it fit perfect on here and i do think it did looks great so like i mentioned with the intake uh, we're gonna be doing the downpipe here very soon got a bunch of suspension stuff starting to roll in i think the next video is going to be the lbz next to chomper a little 1500 versus 2500 comparison video i think that'd be pretty cool also got to get the windshield fixed gotta do a bunch of stuff i think i'm actually going to take the headliner out while the windshield's out that way i can go ahead and uh upholster it and then try to figure out how to get it back in with the windshield fixed but either way hopefully y'all did enjoy comment down below let me know some other like budget friendly mods that you enjoyed doing and with that being said i'll see y'all in the next one